Loot. Sweet. Precious. Loot. Hello again my friends, now loads of you have been asking me more console, when is your next loot video? Well the answer is, it's now! So then as you can see I have 12 sterling treasure boxes, yes I've been saving these little bastards. Now on September 8th there's going to be a game update that reduces the amount of sterling treasure you can earn to 1 per week from the level 41 Prison of Elders Arena. On September 20th when Rise of Iron launches, Tess Everest will no longer sell sterling treasure, she's going to replace them with Radiant Treasure. Now whether or not Bungie is going to phase out sterling treasure altogether remains to be seen. Now, I still don't have the Taken Cloak, so I have 12 attempts to get that shit, so let's fucking go. Like I said, that is the only thing I want, the Taken Cloak, and once I have it, if I get it, we're gonna move the fuck on. Everything else is useless to me. Give me the Taken Cloak. That's all I want from these 12 boxes. Come on, don't don't make me play, don't make me pay silver to get this shit. I want to get it for free from these little boxes. So here we go, boom. Like I said, I don't give a shit about chroma, I don't give a shit about armor. The boots are quite nice, the boots are good, but I want the Taken Cloak. No, got the Spectre Mask. I don't give a fuck about that. Give me... Give me the Taken Cloak, that's all I need. I'm a cloak collector, I'm a hunter, of course I collect cloaks, that's what I need. And I've got seven attempts now. Give it to me, you bastard. Surely from 12 attempts, we can get the goddamn fucking cloak. No, Spectre Legs, fuck off. Chroma, we don't need you. We don't care about that shit. By the way, when Rise of Iron launches, um, Ava Levante is actually going to be selling Chroma. So you don't have to get them from Sterling Treasure Packages. She'll be selling that shit for probably for Glimmer. Come, God damn it! Four attempts and I still haven't got the Taken fucking cloak. Can we please do this shit? Fuck, just Chroma, <laughs> not even any boosts and shit. Okay, here we go. We've got three attempts to get the Taken Cloak. It's not looking good, people. It's not looking fucking good. Okay, two attempts. Am I going to go super last minute and get it at the fucking last attempt? Okay, we've got one last fucking attempt to get the Taken Cloak. Come on, Oran Jesus, don't be a shit. Fuck you, let's move on! Next up, we have our first true meaning of all bounty. This has a chance of dropping a 335 exotic. Let's see how lucky I get. Bazoom! We've got Plan C. Okay, I've already got Plan C. In fact, yes, I've got it equipped already. 335, we've got another 335. That's good infusion fuel, let's move the fuck on. Next up, we have a cheeky future war cult package. Now, when you get a faction package after Rise of Iron drops, you'll actually be given three choices, three packages, and you can select one of the packages. One of the packages will contain armor, one of the packages will contain weapons, and one of the packages will contain chroma gear. So it just gives you a better chance of getting what you want. So that's something to look forward to when Rise of Iron drops. Let's see what I get in this little package. Boom, we've got Spectre Infinite Mars. I think I've already got one of those bastards as well. Obviously, it dropped at 330. Let's just equip it for the sake of it. Bazackles. Let's move on. Next up, my second true meaning of war bounty. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, hey, more console, why are you saving your Trials of Osiris bounties? Well, that's so that when Rise of Iron drops, I have easy access to some legendary marks in case I want to buy a vendor weapon because obviously there's going to be a vendor weapon reset. And just in case you were curious, the next Trials of Osiris will drop September 30th after, that's 10 days after Rise of Iron drops. So then, let us now tuck into my second true meaning of all bounty, Bazoom. We've got a competitive show. I'm guessing that's dropped at, oh, we've got a little guardian bowing to us. I'm guessing that's dropped at 335. Okay, don't really need it, but hey, why not? Let's have a little look at this guardian. Let's have a little, have a little wave. Hello there, my friend. Hello. Hello. Are you going to teabag with me? Alright, don't then. Oh, he's alright, okay, you're gonna. Alright, chill. Okay, I'm. Um, hold on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking in a high pitched voice. Now, my next item is going to be from Lord Shax. It's a crucible package. Let's open it. Boo jingles. We've got Spectre Pandium Gaunus. I'm not even gonna fucking look at it because it's bullshit. Let's move the fuck on. Next up, I have a rather naughty new monarchy package. Let's open this shit. Boom! We've got Spectre Calipolis Plate. Now, another thing you need to know about Rise of Iron is that there's going to be absolutely brand new faction gear, brand new faction armor and weapons, so again, that's another little thing to look forward to. Roll on, Rise of Iron. September 20th cannot come soon enough. Hurry the fuck up. So then, my third and final true meaning of War Bounty, and again, in case you were curious, I'm saving this for the easy access to Legendary Marks when Rise of Iron drops, so let's see how lucky I get here. Boom! We've got Strange Coins and Motes of Light. 17 Strange Coins. Actually, that's pretty fucking good. I'm collecting, again, collecting those. I'm kind of like hoarding those for Rise of Iron 2, so I'm very happy with that. Now, let's go to Old Shaxi Plops 
and see what this bastard has for me. Hopefully he's got a little package. He has. Well, you know, hopefully he's got something good. Let's do this shit. Okay, we've got the Spectre. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, we've got the Spectre something or other. Let's have a little look at that. I think, I don't know, what's it like? Let's have a little look. Come on, it looks fucking hideous, as if a bird has shat on me. It looks like a bird has taken a shit on my shoulders. So we are now going to move the fuck on. I know, I just laughed at my own joke, I'm fucking pathetic. Let's fucking move on. I've said fuck too many times. Fuck YouTube's ter new terms of services, let's move on. And finally, we have a rambunctious dead orbit package. Now, I've actually been very lucky, and I got some early hands on time with Rise of Iron, and I got to try out some dead orbit weapons, and they're pretty fucking good. I got to mess around with the Extrema File Auto Rifle and the Last Ditch Shotgun. And I've got to say, it seems like Dead Orbit is going to be the vendor to go for your really decent weapons. Um, I've left a link to my Extrema File Auto Rifle gameplay in the description box below. Um, check it out. In the meantime, let's open this little package. Boom. At last, we've got a weapon. I've been waiting for a weapon. It's all been armor up until here. Now, we've got the Hung Jury. Now, this is actually a, real, a bit of a beast. So, let's see what the roll is. It's going to be quite hard to beat the roll that the vendor's actually selling. So, we've got Icarus. Never really like that. We've got Extended Mag, we've got Small Boar, and we have Zen Moment and Danger Close. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the loop section of this video. Now, if you want to watch my latest Destiny 2 video, click this rather dramatic-looking hunter or follow the link that you'll find in the description box below. Bungie has teased that big changes are coming for the sequel, so if you want to learn more about that, Watch the video. And that, my friends, really does bring us to the end of this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for daily Destiny content. And thank you so much for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, hey, hey, hey. Until next time, guys.